There is one thing in common in all of these images. They all had objects or texts in them that they're not there anymore. If you want to see what they were and how I removed them in just a few seconds, keep watching. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Uniconverter and it is my pleasure to introduce you Any Eraser, a brand new AI tool of the Uniconverter family. There are three ways you can use Any Eraser to remove objects or unwanted elements from videos or images. You can use the online version of it, the desktop version of it, both for Windows and Mac, and you can use the iOS application. If you don't want to install any softwares or application on your desktop or on your smartphone, the online version of Any Eraser is a perfect choice. Go to anyeraser.media.io, but the links are in the description and click on upload video or image. Yes, any eraser can work with video files as well. But in this video, we're gonna focus on removing objects or unwanted elements from image files. So let's upload a photo. Let's go with a selfie because in selfies, there are often people and unwanted elements that you just wanna remove. So it's a great way to use any eraser. So I'm gonna go with this selfie that I took at this wonderful beach in Croatia. But as you can see, there are people in the background and they're annoying. Otherwise it would be empty and it would be like a really good selfie. I mean, this guy right here is straight up looking in the camera like, what are you doing, bro? But no worries, any research will take care of it. So let's choose a brush size and let's zoom in on the objects that I wanna remove. For example, here's this couple, let's draw over them. It's best if you draw over the objects as carefully and accurately as possible because it will increase the quality of the result. And as any eraser can remove multiple objects at the same time, let's draw over this guy's head here, ciao, I don't need you, and some other people in the background. In case while drawing over objects you accidentally draw over something that you don't want to erase, just click on the undo button. Or you can start over the entire process by clicking on the reset button. And when I'm done drawing over the object that I want to remove from this image, I'm just gonna click on remove object now. And now any eraser will do its magic. And once it's done, as you can see, there there's literally nobody in the background anymore. I can just download this photo and post it on Instagram or wherever you want. Let's take a quick look at the desktop version of any eraser because in the desktop version, you can do this entire process in batch, which means that you don't have to export every image one by one. So first go to any eraser's official website and download the software. After installing it, open it. As you can see here as well, any eraser can work with videos as well, but now we're focusing on images, so let's import one. I'm gonna go with this one where there's this balloon that has a text on it that I don't need, and then there's this woman standing here ruining my picture, so let's remove them all together. And I'm just gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna draw over the objects and elements I want to remove. If I mess up the selection, I can click right over here and erase the parts that I selected but I don't want to be selected anymore. And like I said, I can import multiple images at the same time, work on them and then export them all together. But before you do that, choose an output folder and then just click on start all. Any eraser will export them in a few seconds and voila, you have your photos cleaned up. And the third way of using any eraser is your iPhone or iOS device, of course go to the App Store and download any eraser. It pretty much works the same way as the previous two. It can also handle videos. But now I'm just gonna tap on remove objects from images. I'll import an image. I draw over the parts I'd want to remove. If I mess it up, I can tap on erase and then just erase the selection that I don't want anymore. And once it's done, I'm gonna tap on next. Any eraser will work for a few seconds and then there you go. You have your cleaned up image once again. Now, of course, any eraser works the best if you want to remove objects that are fairly small or not in focus in the background. The reason why is because the AI needs information around the objects, because that's what it's going to use to autofill the parts that you want to remove. But if there is nothing around them, it will be like, mm, I don't know what to do. Now, that doesn't mean that it's not useful when it comes to removing complicated um, objects from the background. Let's take this image, for example, that I took in Pisa next to the famous Leaning Tower. I'm doing my handstand, but as you can see, taking a picture there with an empty background is almost impossible. 
but not with any eraser. Let's see what we can do about this. I'm gonna import this in the online version of any eraser. I'm gonna draw over everything that I wanna remove. There are a lot of people, so I'm just gonna go over them. I'm gonna take my time. And then I'm gonna click on remove objects now. Well, as you can see, you can obviously tell that I used something to remove the background with. Now, here's a trick that you can use. I'm gonna add drop it to my phone and I'm gonna start uploading it to Instagram. But before that, I'm gonna edit it a little. I'm gonna give it the tilt shift effect, which will blur out the side of the image where I've removed the people from. And then I'm gonna give it a bit of color grading and voila. It's more than enough to make a story or a post on Instagram. And I didn't even have to wake up at 4 a.m. to take a picture with an empty background. So was it convincing so far? Well, here is another thing that I can tell you. You don't need any editing skills to use any eraser, where otherwise you wouldn't need to know how to use Photoshop or all these crazy editing softwares to remove a object from the background of your image. You don't need any of those things anymore. You just saw how easy it is to clean up your images using any eraser. So if you want to give it a try, all the links are in the description. But that was the video for today. If you found it helpful, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more content around video making. With that being said, thank you so much for watching and I'm going to see you in the next video.